Good tone. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Together FTR. Today, I'm a homegirl, Lindsay, in the house. What's up? She's very well inclined in music and other arts. Beautiful work. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Mm, I started playing music when I was about three or four. I think guitar was the first thing I played. And ever since then, I started playing everything that I could, picking up everything, filming with it. And then I started beatboxing when I was like 10, maybe, 10 or so. I love fucking guitar so much. Yeah, I love playing acoustic, electric. Got both of them, acoustic, electric. Yeah, this is my number one favorite, that and the drums. The drums? Yeah, I, I like love playing, playing drums. drums too. I yeah. wish I could play guitar. I want to yeah. play acoustic so bad, I would throw it in so much stuff. Yeah, <laughs> it'd be awesome. <clears throat> you should do that and start recording stuff with it too. Oh, Put yeah. it in your mix. Um, I have some would you rather questions for you today. All right. Uh, we're going to start off with would you rather have no arms or would you rather have no legs? No legs. No legs? No legs. So I need my arms to play guitar and oh, drums. Yeah. But I can always get some prosthetic legs. You know what I'm saying? You see people run, the, run some races and tracks still with the, the legs. Yeah. So Absolutely. That, yeah, yeah. I would go with no legs too. So but I can... why? <laughs> why? Why? Because I'm trying to chase skateboard. people. Oh yeah. I'm trying to chase people down as a zombie crawler. Do you think you still skateboard up. though? If you did that, I've seen people with um, no legs do yeah, skateboarding. Yeah, I don't doubt it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. But uh, my other would you rather question is: Would you rather have uncontrollable gas for the rest of your life at work, or would you rather have uncontrollable gas on every first date you ever go on for the rest of your life? I would say. First date, I would just never go on a date again. <laughs> Either first that, date. or I would first just be like, sure. it was that guy. Crop I mean, you could, us, so. you could go crop dusting people at work. You uh, know, yeah, the pisses you off. That's Uncontrollable true. gas. But I could do that anyway if I wanted to. <laughs> oh uh, no, definitely on first date. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, but I'm sure if it was right. uncontrollable, it would probably be terrible. Actually, would you be able to like hold it in or? Like, I don't. If it's not controllable, you gotta. You can't fight it. That's a, tough one. That's a tough one right there. <laughs> that is. I is would definitely sharp? say first date. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Would you my do... life, I wouldn't be able to do it. My life would suck. Would you do work or would you do first date? <sighs> I'm going to do first date because yeah. I'm not trying okay. to be at work flatulating. Yeah, everyone. exactly. <laughs> my money comes from people's Seriously. satisfaction. <laughs> yeah, bro. Literally. Yeah. I, they won't I, tip me. <laughs> bro, I had surgery <laughs> on my stomach not too long ago on some real shit. Yeah. And I, whenever I got back my first day yeah. i bent over to fucking pick up these cups and i shit on myself oh i was so upset mm. i was so embarrassed did you I, leave work <laughs> I, I, I was out, suck it up I, no i went home i should work I would too. Yeah. it was <laughs> coming down my legs yeah. it was bad I, <laughs> I was like eh, this is what i have to look forward to when i'm like 75 years old i'd like quit my job i think if i did that oh, bro. i didn't no, want to go back I, yeah no i but thank no, God honestly. it was not in front of a of family customer? of customers. Yeah. Just, this is in the back. Ooh. Oh, it was bad. Yeah. Makes you second guess it just came on. Heavy. I couldn't control it. <laughs> no. I've spilled a whole beers. tray of beers on me before in front of a whole table. It was like seven beers, tall ones. Oh and they had other gosh. mixed drinks. But I didn't spill on them. I dodged it. I got to move over the way, but it soaked me. I was literally dripping. I tried to laugh it off and joke, but they were like... They just oh, stared man. at me. <laughs> and then I just, I get my table away and let somebody else have it. And I, went, and I just went home. Someone, I was like, y'all please just, take this. Yeah. I gotta go home. I made it awful. <laughs> I, uh, they hate me. I, I was carrying, I took, I was taking like four tables at the same time. Yeah. On the grill side. And I had two trays stacked on top of each other of soups. Yeah. Completely full. And another two trays stacked on top of each other with salads. And this oh, lady crazy. scooted her chair out as I was walking by and hit my no. head. No. And it just all Unbalanced went down. everything. Unbalanced, bro. That I, sucks. Every single person at that table 
was furious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And like I Did popped it get on a, them? Yeah, bro. Yeah. It was all over the place. Uh some a lady got hit in the head with a bowl and she got soaked in hot soup. I couldn't it was uncontrollable. I couldn't do Did anything. You comp about their, it. you say you comped their meal or something? Did yeah, I comped some <laughs> some off the meal, bro. I couldn't do much, but I did what I could do. Yeah. It wasn't even my table, it was someone else's table. Oh no. I was just on my way to my table. So the server's like, Why are y'all so mad? <laughs> like, I ended up having to move them to a different grill and everything because yeah. it went everywhere. Was there was salad it cooking up. on the grill. That sucks. Oh, it was terrible. I would die. Would you uh you can only hear one song for the rest of your life? Bohemian Rhapsody. Or Ring of Fire. Bohemian Rhapsody, I think. Bohemian Rhapsody? Yeah. I'm going to go with Ring of Fire. Yeah, so yeah it was a I'm tough gonna one, but honestly. I'm going to go with honestly. Ring of Fire. Only because my grandpa used to sing all of his music all the time. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fair. So, so sentimental to you. No yeah, way. absolutely. Yeah. You love singing that. No, I think I'd have to go with that. I don't know. That'd probably drive me crazy listening to Ring of Fire. Or either one of them, honestly. Honestly, all the after time. so long, yeah, you get tired you're going to go insane Regardless. just listening to the same thing. It'd be like a you Fallout. You Galileo in the background everywhere. It'd freak me out. <laughs> Dude, you ever play Fallout? Yes. So mm-hmm. you're out in the fucking wasteland, and then there's just... He's hacking, he's whacking, he's smacking, <laughs> playing in the background. You're That's all that, you hear. Yeah. <laughs> no. I could, I'd go no. insane. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know I would. I feel like I could last I a little I swear I did. Yeah. I used to play that game so much. Yeah, oh, I wouldn't last so as long as Ring of Fire. I played enough where that, the, like, this song in the background just gets stuck in my head. Yeah. Butcher Pete, that's the main one. Yeah, was Butcher Pete. Far Cry, there was a song in Far Cry that's been stuck in my head forever. I don't oh, even know what it is. The Witcher. I don't, <laughs> the Witcher. I don't play that game in yeah, so I have either, yeah. is so good. <laughs> who are the three, your, who are your three favorite artists, as in, uh... Portrait artist drawers. Okay. Well, number one, I would say my sister, Abby, because she's super good. She's so good at realism. And she does tattoos now, too, up in Moorhead. Oh, that's dope. So, hey, my, my, my brother in law just left Moorhead. Really? And opened his own shop. Dude, that, where'd he go? Black at, Back Alley Tattoos. That's where he oh, was. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I forgot what the name of hers is, but her and her roommate both, they do tattoos, but they're really good. And, like, if you walk in their apartment, you see all these cool paintings and stuff. It's that's cool. Dope. Her, of course. And then. I'd say Michelangelo for his work up on the Sistine Chapel. I mean, I guess because I got to go see it and go over there and then go visit it and you look up. You're not supposed to take pictures or anything of it, but there's a couple people, you know, they're like, you know, mm-hmm. holding their phones upside down, taking pictures of it. I mean, you have to. Come on now. That's yeah, like I mean, how awesome. are you going to go yeah. see something like that and exactly. not snap a picture of it? Like exactly. Tip, like backing up against the wall and tip, getting a little brick that's loose. Falls over. Because it's just ruins. Yeah, we went to... Well, that happened um, one year in marching band. I don't remember if it was my sophomore or junior year, but one of the upperclassmen went on a trip, and they ended up taking on a brick, and they got arrested. They ended up letting it Really? Go, but, That's crazy. Yeah, They're I don't strict remember where it, was from, where, where it was, but it was one of the... the it was the same trip. They do that same trip every yeah, year. Yeah, the Europe trip. I, the Europe trip, and you go to a bunch of places, and they took a brick, and they got in a lot of trouble for it. Mm, yeah, you can. Because they have everything caged up, too, like the old bases yeah. and stuff. You're you, not even yeah. supposed to, like, touch it or anything. If, if something's b- blocked off to where you can't get up to it, if you even, yeah. like, if you see a statue trying to pose with it or something, you got to be where that blockade yeah. is. That's crazy. <clears throat> Imagine getting arrested for stealing a brick. <laughs> That's insane. I'd cry. <laughs> uh, but mine, mine are Bob Ross, Picasso, and my brother-in-law, Zach Potter, because he's a beautiful musician, uh, uh, artist. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Not a musician. Why Picasso? Uh, Picasso. Or Bob Ross. I don't know. Everyone loves Bob Ross. I don't like Bob Ross. I don't know why. <laughs> There's oh, a painting fine. that he does, and it's where, it's one of the paintings right by the lake. Yeah. Um, I really like that one. Yeah. Um, and Picasso, there was, it was the, he's got this creepy painting I like. Yeah. I don't remember what the name of it is called, but it's this lady. Just dark lady. I don't know. But okay. It just looks okay. very intimidating. I can rock with that. Oh, yeah. yeah. But Not Zach, he, he did a portrait of my sister. And it's nice. It's really? a, literally a drawing of her in a red room. It's just the back of her. She's sitting like this with her yeah. with her uh, knees up, and uh, I don't remember what's on it, but he made it for my mom. Oh, that's neat. Oh, so she has that. Yeah, my mom yeah. has that. It's really dope. Who was sister Riva? Nope. Or somebody else. Stephanie. Oh, okay. Riva's in uh, Detroit. Oh, she moved. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Give her. Absolutely. Yeah, this town. So. 
you're a musician. What kind of instruments do you play? And how many do you, uh, do you play other than just guitar? Well, I've learned to play like 27, but I don't consistently oh, consistently play them anymore because I just don't have like the really the storage for all of it anymore. Oh, yeah, that's a lot but, of instruments to, yeah, to play. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I like the, of course, guitar, drums, piano. I love that. Play the mandolin. Play like a bunch of different stuff. If I can get my hands on it, I'm going to play it. Oh, I'm yeah. not even going to lie. I have a yeah, clarinet. I, like I have no idea how to play it, but yeah. I, I bust it out and I can rip on that motherfucker. You should learn to play it. I want, yeah, I want to play the saxophone. That's one that I haven't learned. I've always wanted to play saxophone. Yeah, I just never got one to be able to learn it. So, I mean, I used to go always save up my money, you know, growing up and then buy an instrument, learn to play it and do that. But Who, yeah. There was this black kid named Austin. He was amazing on the saxophone. I wouldn't doubt it. I don't know who that is. Who? I don't remember his last name. Yeah. Maybe it was forever ago. Yeah. It's like seven years ago, six years ago. Now. Yeah. I played the tuba once. <laughs> if that counts. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I was in middle school. I, I was in a drum line. Yeah. That's what I did. See, I, I played like drums. See, I like to do that. I'd like so. to pick up an instrument and learn how to play it in 20 minutes. Yeah, see, that's awesome. <laughs> like, he can eat, like, the piano at the Winchester Inn yeah. uh, in Ashland. Yeah. Uh, he my dad said that he walked into the lobby while they were waiting for dinner, and he just sat down and just started playing. Are you talking about Parak? Yeah. Okay, I that makes perfect sense. Yeah. That man and, can and touch he anything. How to play a guitar and a keyboard. Yeah. The moment he puts his hands on something, it just makes. He can just play it. Just yeah. Play it. That's be cool. like, I'm gonna think of something to play and just. Yeah. See, that's cool. Like, I like doing that stuff. Like, I I do and that. I play by ear too. Like, if I like want to play something, I don't know. Like, I just get so lost with sheet music sometimes like i can do tabs like guitar tabs uh, but... sheet music was my biggest battle yeah it still is it's still yeah lie, it like still i need to probably force myself was, to do better with it but i was horrible at reading 